What's up, guys? It is about 4.40 on Tuesday, the day after Robbie and crew at Alpine CrossFit release the workouts for this weekend's Legends competition. Um, I drove into work today. I, drive, I work in Boulder. So instead of drinking another energy drink and instead of falling asleep at the wheel because I'm so tired, I figured this would be a perfect time to record a video that Robbie asked me to do on my thoughts of the workouts that he posted last night. First of all, uh, hopefully everyone that's competing this weekend watched all of the videos, not only the standard range of motion workouts, or videos rather, but also the sample, if you will, rounds of athletes going through the, the workouts, because that stuff always helps me at least. But this first video, I'm only gonna talk about Friday night, so that would be events one, two, and three, technically. And if the feedback from this one's good, I'll go over the three workouts for Saturday. But obviously, if, if this isn't gonna be a helpful tool, then no sense in hearing myself talk. First event, 2,000 meter run. I specifically asked Robbie not to do handstand push-ups and running, so that shows you the influence I have on helping people program for competitions like this. But uh, it's a mile and a quarter, not too far, I think this is more of a, for me at least, a, a middle distance type of a run, where it's definitely not a sprint and it's not it's not a 5K, but uh, for me personally, I don't have the engine to just go, go, go and sprint the whole thing. So it's gonna hopefully be a quick little clip for the whole thing. Um, and there are some guys out there who can dominate 2,000 meters. So I think there's gonna be some really, really fast times given the, the field of athletes we have. Um, that goes directly into, so the second you walk inside after your 2,000 meter run, into three minutes to find your max weight jerk, so shoulder to overhead. Then, from the start of the run, 20 minutes after that, everyone is going to go through a 100 second bear complex at 135 for men and 95 for women. So, it doesn't have to be a strict bear, the bar can rest on the ground, but those three events in combo make up make up Friday night. So run 2,000, as soon as you get inside, you get three minutes to find a max shoulder to overhead, bar is gonna be racked, and then you do uh, one, one minute and 40 second bear, as many full rounds of power clean front squat, shoulder to overhead, back squat, shoulder to overhead equals one. My thoughts on how I'm going to approach it, uh, the run is gonna be medium to quick. I'd like to pace it, but not be completely gassed by the end. So uh, I have some sort of core strength left to go into those shouldered overheads, the jerks. I'm probably going to set a weight that I'm very confident I can get, you know, 90% confident I'll be able to get first, right when I run back in the door, and then start adding incrementally up from there. My goal is to get in four attempts at the shouldered overhead, but the problem with that is if you fail and the barbell drops on the ground, you, the athlete, need to pick it back up again. So uh, big risk there if you put on too much weight that maybe you can't clean or clean quickly because that can eat up a ton of time on the clock that you get because it's only three minutes. Um, then recover, probably switch shoes. I will not switch shoes for the max jerk, but for the bear, probably throw on my weightlifting shoes. And then um, depending on how fatigued I am and how out of breath, I'm debating on how long to try and touch and go, basically right into the next round, right into the next rep, versus um, singles. So just bailing after the back squat to, to shoulder press, or to push press, I guess. Um, realistically, I'm hoping to get maybe three to five rounds right away without dropping the bar, because I think I can do five hang power cleans pretty easily at 135, or power cleans, rather. So then from there, I may have to go singles, but just bail at the top, shake it out, get right back up to it, and, and do it again. My goal, personally, for placement, I don't think I'm going to be near the top of any of these things, but I also don't think I'm going to be near the bottom. So given the, the athlete group, I think my goal is going to be in the top 40% of everything. If someone's really fast but not very strong, they'll rank very high on the run, but then potentially low on the other two. If someone's not very fast, 
but is really strong. I don't know if I just use that same example, but you know what I'm saying. The opposite of that. If they're not very fast, but strong, they'll probably rank low on the run and pretty high on the strength focused things, the, the bear and the max shouldered overhead. So my, my goal is to be in the, the top 40% for everything and then hopefully being somewhat even in my rankings will, will boost up my overall ranking a little bit. That's my approach to Friday night. I'm going to try and get there maybe 45 minutes beforehand, make sure my legs are nice and warm, stretch out those shoulders, take as many practice attempts at the shouldered overhead as I think I need. I will probably try, talk to my buddy Adam today about this, probably try to uh, do some sort of heavy cardio to be out of breath and then a practice attempt uh, between today and tomorrow at a, at a heavy shouldered overhead just to prepare my body for what that stimulus is like. But um, not going to go too heavy, certainly not going to run the full 2,000 beforehand. Um, so that's my strategy. Really, really excited about the workouts. Not because I think I'll do well, but because I think Robbie and the Alpine crew did a great job of programming something that is going to test a lot of different uh, ability levels and, and skills. While I think the workouts, for the most part, are going to be um, kind of on the shorter end of things, I think the balance between body weight and weighted and you know super heavy to relatively light movements are are really well done. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing some friends too. Got people driving in from across the state and that's going to be a really fun after party on Saturday. But let me know what you think. Does this video help at all with strategy? If not, I won't bother doing another one for events four, five, and six. If it does, I'll gladly do it. Good luck to everyone and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.